It was the first time in my life, the only time in my life, I've ever been sent into physical shock. That night was by far the hardest night of my life. And we, we've gone through tragedies since, but, but nothing will ever have the impact that night did. See, I'm thankful to have married right here in this room a, a woman who knows me far better than I know myself. And, and that night, an officer had asked if, a responding officer had asked if we wanted a chaplain to, to show up. And, and of course, I'm still holding on to control with everything I have. And I'm like, why would I need a chaplain? Like, I've got this. Luckily, again, my wife knew me better than, than I knew myself. And she had told them behind my back that you better send somebody out because this is going to be tough. And, and I'm thankful to this day that she did. A, a pastor from our community at a small church near our house, was able to respond that night and sit with us uh, for hours. Um, I remember being on the back balcony of our house that night talking till the, the almost daylight, and, and he still gave a sermon a few hours later, which was remarkable to know. I was able to go back later and watch it online, and it's, it, that's just incredible in and of itself. But, but in that moment, in that conversation that night, I realized I was, in no way, shape, or form was I in control. I, I had what I thought was a good life, and I was spinning out completely out of control in my own way. And, and through that, that journey that night that I went on, it was the first time in my life that I realized I was in need of a Savior. I couldn't do it on my own. I couldn't save myself I couldn't save Zach any longer. I'd tried for so long. I was in need of a savior. 